Today we're talking about the film series, which is a brand new update from the preset factory. We've taken the best presets from the film 500, 600 and 700 series and added additional presets to create a master collection of film emulation presets for Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of how these presets work within Lightroom. To install these presets, check out our video guides or read the instruction manuals which are included in your download link. Now you'll see we've got some control presets which are designed to quickly correct your image, ready to start editing. So we can use the auto white balance and the lens correction, which saves you having to scroll down and do it in the develop module. Next, just adjust your exposure and your image is ready to go. Now you can see we've got 20 different film emulation presets, ranging from film one up to film 20. So I'll flick through some of these and you can see the effects they have. As you can see with some of these, we've taken a lot of inspiration from the Kodak Portra classic film, uh, some of the Fuji films, and some of the Polaroid expired films as well. So some of them are very bright and airy and really bring out the skin tones, and some of them have got more of a matted, faded look to them, which you'll see in the expired films. So we've taken the best presets from the previous film series packs, we've reworked them, and then we've added additional presets. So for this image, I'm just going to choose Film 1, which has got this really nice Kodak Portrait feel to it. Now you'll also see we've got these grain presets. So if I just zoom in, each of the presets already comes with grain added to it, but we can further craft our image by selecting the type of grain we want. So we've got a very fine grain, we've got just a medium grain, and then a heavy grain. And if I zoom out, you can really see that. So for this image, I'm just going to choose a medium grain. Now once you've applied your preset, Try adjusting your white balance. So I like to warm this up just a touch and maybe just tint it with purple to bring those skin tones out a little bit. And try adjusting your exposure again as this will help to further craft your image. And it really is that simple. So as you can see, this was our before and this was our after and it's got this lovely analog film look to it. Now these presets are fully customizable so you're free to jump down and just to adjust any of the control sliders to further craft your image. Don't forget to check out the tips and tricks section in your instruction manuals and this will give you some more information on how to shoot and edit with this collection. And if you have any questions about this pack, feel free to contact us and one of our team will get back to you as quickly as possible. Welcome to the film series update.